again, my name is Gabe Zollner. This is the 20th of February, 2019. Article posted on Variety, written by Jean Madus, it's M-A-D-D-A-U-S, and Brent Lang, L-E-N-G. Jesse Smollett faces prison, career ruin, if he lied about attack. What's with the F? We know he lied about the attack. Jesse Smollett is facing prison time and the implosion of his career. If it turns out, he lied about being the target of a hate crime, legal and public relations experts say. Quote, the best thing that Jesse could do is pray and pray a lot, said Ron Torosian, founder of 5W Public Relations. Quote, if he made it up, he has big problems in both the court of law and the court of public opinion. Well. I don't think praying is going to do him a whole lot of good. I think what he should do is, if he's got a passport, is get the hell out of Dodge. Because he's going to be convicted of a couple of crimes. One, by using the mail. If they can tie that letter that he said he received to him, <laughs> that's a federal offense. The Empire Star claimed he was beaten up on January 29 by two men who use racial and homophobic slurs. Smallest co-stars and colleagues on Empire, celebrities such as Ellen Page and Zendaya, and public figures such as Senator Kamala Harris rallied behind the actor, releasing statements of support. However, Smallest's account is now being challenged, with police investigating whether or not he paid two acquaintances, Abrinjo and Abriablo Osondero, to stage the attack. Chicago police confirmed on Tuesday that they received a tip from someone claiming to have seen the three men together in an elevator of smallest apartment building on the evening of the attack. However, later in the day, police spokesman Anthony Juliama tweeted that the tip was unfounded. If, some, if Smollett falsified a police report, the charge is a class 4 felony in Illinois and carries a potential sentence of 1 to 3 years. Smollett could also be ordered to pay a restitution to compensate for the cost of the Chicago Police Department investigation. It is a very, very serious situation, said Phil Turner, a former federal prosecutor who now works in criminal defense in Chicago. He's got some very significant exposure. Hmm. Well, again, they're also investigating that uh, threatening letter. And if he sent that, <laughs> well... He could go away for, I don't know, five, ten years. I guess what he's got going for him is he'll be well received in a joint since he's already a homosexual. Don't have to worry about him being turned into homosexual. He already is a homosexual. So he'll be well received. <laughs> Absolutely insane. The problem that he has, other than the crimes that he's committed, is as stated in this article, it's a very high profile case. Prosecutors tend to be tough because everybody's watching. Hmm. I think they may come down hard in terms of not reducing it to a misdemeanor. Read the rest of the article. You see, the thing is, he was trying to, I guess, kick his career in high gear. Instead, he kicked it into the manure pile. And he probably kicked himself into the joints which is where he needs to go. People can't be allowed to just commit crimes like this and get away with them. That's sort of what I think. You might want to repost this in your social media account. You might want to send a copy to Jesse Smollett. Say hi to him. From Gabe, ZollnerReport.com. Thanks for listening.